New at six, hundreds of donkeys in search of water and food are on the move on the north end of the Big Island. A meeting about the donkey problem is about to get underway right now in Waikoloa. KTV Force Catherine Cruz back from the Big Island with the latest. Catherine. Well, you know, drought conditions have brought a population explosion of donkeys into sharp focus. But rather than resort to extreme measures of killing the donkeys as they move into urban areas, a massive effort to round them up and find them homes is now in place. From the air, you can see why the donkeys have little choice but to move downhill in order to survive. The conditions are harsh and stark. Dry and arid landscapes made worse as donkeys compete for food. Some just don't survive. It's a big problem because of the, the numbers is, you know, they, they've been growing year after year um, and it's now become more serious because of the lack of food and water. Many people only see the donkey crossing signs on the highway, but as amusing as the warnings might be to visitors, the plight is nothing but serious. The donkeys were introduced to Hawaii as pack animals for coffee farms, but faced with nothing to eat or drink, the pool water at Waikoloa Village seems just fine. And there is no denying that the grass is greener at Waikoloa School. So that's where they're, they are early in the morning. No one was more surprised about the new visitors to Waikoloa Elementary School campus than its principal. But I had one of the little kids come up to me one day going, you know, Miss Costa Korea, there's donkey poop over here. And I went, yeah, right, you know. And I turn around and I, sure enough. And I went, oh, okay. Costa Korea says at this point the donkeys are more of a nuisance than a safety threat, making more work for her staff. They call it their parade route. And they go behind where the donkeys have been and pick up all the remnants to make sure the campus is clean before the kids come. Yeah. But now, thanks to Dr. Bergen and the local chapter of the Humane Society of the United States, there are major efforts to round up the donkeys and begin mass sterilizations. Luckily, uh, a rancher who's leasing that land is supplying water that he normally is for his cattle, um, that he's allowing the donkeys to, to drink as well. And without his help, we wouldn't have uh, been able to get these rehomed and relocated. This no-kill option is a massive undertaking, both intensive and expensive. And the mass castration of donkeys began today. And tonight on our News at 10, more on that and the effort to find homes for hundreds of those donkeys.